this video will look real quickly at derivatives and antiderivatives of exponential functions and logarithms. So first off, let's remind ourselves a few basic facts. Um, the first is that the derivative of the natural log function is 1 over x. So we first ran into this actually with the antiderivative problem. And there we had the following, that the antiderivative of 1 over x was the natural log of the absolute value of x plus a constant. The absolute value is uh, pretty important, and it needs to be there for technical reasons. Um, we'll talk about that more in class. Um, we also had that... The derivative of e to the x was just e to the x, and hence the antiderivative of e to the x is also itself, except of course we've got the plus c. Um, now, natural logarithms and exponentials in terms of e are very nice, but not always do we uh, have them. So the question is, what do we do if we have a base? that's different than e, uh, either for the logarithm or for e to the x. And uh, it, it turns out not to be too difficult. Um, if we have, uh, let's start with the exponential. So let's say that we have a to the x, where a is some sort of positive number. Then the derivative of a to the x is kind of works like e to the x, except there's a little term that needs to get tacked on, and that's the natural log of a. Um, in the case where a is actually equal to e, then you would be multiplying by the natural log of e, which is just 1, so it, you don't need it. Um, and then from this, we get the antiderivative uh, which would be that the antiderivative of a to the x would be the same thing, except this time we have to divide by the logarithm rather than multiply. And for that, think of it again in the socks and shoes sort of analogy. Um, so that's the uh, derivative and antiderivative in the case where you have a non-natural base. Um, for the logarithm, uh, the derivative we can deal with pretty simply. So if we want to take the derivative, for example, of the log base a of x, then the first thing we can do is actually just use a result from uh, algebra, which is that the log base a of x can be written in this form. So what we just used there was the change of base law. And then the natural log of a is a constant, so this would just be 1 over the natural log of a times the derivative of the natural log of x, which, by what we set up above, was um, just 1 over x. So this would be 1 over x times 1 over natural log of a. And that's pretty much all you need for the warm-up problems. We'll see you in class.